Three tips for new players. Play through on your own your first run through, just experiencing the story and the goal to beat Act 10 Kataba. On your next character, follow a build guide where the gameplay looks fun. Two, make sure you set up a movement skill like Flame Dash, Dash, Frost Plank, Leap Slam, etc. Tip number three, look up Dark Shrines if you're struggling in lab. You can also try Global Chat 820 and ask for a run. They may negotiate for payment. Three tips for intermediate players. If a build you're following feels off in a small way, make the change yourself. You don't have to just switch builds. Sacrifice DPS for defense or vice versa. It's okay. Try fucking around in POB Community 4 can see. Or you can use these nodes in your atlas. If you're dying to porcupines, it's because they're using projectile attacks. You're probably running something like a max spell suppression. You might want to up your armor or your evasion rating. And tip three, if you're dirt broke and don't feel like grinding maps for four hours straight, try corrupting 2020 gems to sell, or try out heists, which can be pretty profitable. You can also delve and collect Azerite to buy and flip resonators, which always sell pretty well for some C. Three tips for advanced players. Running the beast boss Feral's Den has a good chance to drop Feral's Fur and can be profitable. Another underutilized farming spot are the synthesis maps, which can drop some profitable fractured items. Tip two, the best Alva Temple rooms for flipping contain the Locus of Corruption, Doriani's Institute, the Apex of Ascension, or Wealth of the Val. And tip number three, to get Verici into research, the bargain technique is to interrogate Verici to kick him off of the board, then you fill up all the slots on the board except research, then interrogate or betray the underling in research, Aisling in this case, to move Verici up, then execute him to get him to the leader.